So a lot of you already know this, but I cut my own hair and I look like a caveman today. I need a trim. So I decided today I'm going to actually show you the process because I get asked so many times and I've never ever done a tutorial on it. So today I'm going to actually show you from start to finish what I do to cut my own hair. The whole process. Let's go. Okay, so this is the setup. First things first, I need to move the missus makeup brushes because when you cut your hair, hair gets everywhere. And the last thing I need is for my missus to say, why is there hair all in my makeup brushes? You are a monster partner. I am leaving you. <laughs> I actually want to live. So I'm getting the makeup brushes out of the way. Right, boom, that's step one done. Step two is I need two mirrors. You need two mirrors because you've got to see the back of your head. So I've got a mirror here. And the angle is really important because if there's a mirror directly behind you, guess what? You can't see the back of your head. So it needs to be off to an angle and just tilt it. There you go. Now we can see the back of the head. Boom! Next up, I get TED Talks on YouTube. Why? Because it's quite a long process cutting your hair. It can take up to an hour or even longer. So rather than just spend the hour cutting my hair, I like to spend the hour actually learning something. Your kids might live on Mars. Here's how they'll survive. That's quite an interesting one. So this is literally all the equipment that I use. I've got three single Single blade thick razors, a shoe brush, <laughs> perfect for brushing my type of hair, and even the beard. Look how messy that beard is now. Brush a shoe brush on it, and look at that. Boom, tidy beard. Trust me, shoe brush does the job. <laughs> so next up, we've got a comb, and then it's literally just the cutters with a an extension. I use a number one. These five things are all I use to cut my hair. Right, enough talking. Let's get into the cut. All right, so let's go. We're starting the trim at twelve thirty nine. So the first thing I do is I put the cutters on the shortest setting possible, and then I just cut around the sides. I do the sides as low as I can with the cutters. So let's go. Right, so that's done. That is phase one, done. Now you can see that there still is some length. This is probably about a number one. I like this slick, like number zero, like just slick. So to do that, that's where the big razors come in. So I use these and I shave against the grain to just literally take off every little bit of hair there is on the sides and the back. So that's step number two, let's go. I think something that's worth noting is I'm giving myself about an inch or an inch and a half to work with to fade. It's an easy mistake to make to go too high with this, but you gotta think you want your fade to end here. So give yourself at least an inch, inch and a half to work with with the fade. Otherwise it's gonna look too abrupt and it's just not gonna look like a very smooth transition from no hair to hair. So start lower. If you start too low, you can always correct it. But if you start too high, then you can't grow the hair back that you've just cut off. So you're basically buggered until your hair grows back and you give yourself your next trim. And it can be weeks. So if you're gonna make a mistake, make a mistake where you've got more hair to play with and you can fix it and amend it rather than starting off too high and then, oh, my hair's all gone. What do I do? I've now got a Mohican. <laughs> I'm under pressure here, I feel the pressure because everyone's gonna judge me on this trip, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, need to, I need to make sure I come correct. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been doing this for over 10 years, so the confidence is there. I've had some big shoots, some big events, big player shoots. You're filming with Cristiano Ronaldo, or you're filming with some of the top players in the world. I still don't get a barber, I just cut my own hair. Knowing that millions of people are gonna see the trim, whether it's good, bad, or anywhere in between. But in life, you gotta back yourself. You gotta, you gotta back yourself. Okay, so that is phase number two complete. This is a skin fade now. This is skin, which is exactly what I wanted. Phase number two, done. On to phase number three, which is, we start the fade. Let's go. All I'm doing, I'm just nicking the edges. You can see where we're going with this. You're basically just trying to transition from skin to hair as smooth as possible. So imagine just like a few millimeter line across the bottom there of hair and I'm just taking a bit off. And literally just going around my head. Just taking, just taking the edge off. Just taking the edge off and you can see that it already starts to, starts to get a little bit faded. Probably not filming this very well, but I'm trying. Back of the head, again, I'm looking in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Just going against it and the edges. And it just starts to fade in. 
So you're starting off with a really abrupt line, hair to no hair, hair to skin. And then it's just a slow process of gradually taking off hair so that it blends. And that's, that's all a fade is, it's just fading from one state to another. You can see already in, in just 60 seconds, we've actually got a little bit of a fade already. Can you see that? What I'm doing here as well is where I want it to be a bit longer, I actually go with the grain. Because again, you go against the grain, it's going to take more hair off. And my hair grows downwards in these parts of my head. So, definitely pay attention to which way your hair is growing. My hair grows down on the sides, so against the grain is going up. That's going to take off more than if I go down with it. So you can see this side has had no work yet with the fade, and this side has had about a minute or two of, of work. That's the process, that is phase three. I don't even know if I'm gonna to get to watch my TED Talks because I'm, I'm so caught up in the tutorial. All right, I'm pretty happy with that as a start point for the fade. If I just stopped cutting my hair right now, that would qualify as a terrible fade. But we're not finished. The extension makes it so that it doesn't cut the hair as short, so now I can go higher without taking off all the hair. It's quite hard to cut and film at the same time, so if there's any dodgy camera work, I apologize. All right, now that we're a little bit into the fade, I'm gonna start using the brush. So what I do with the brush is I brush the hair all in the same direction with the grain. And that allows me to really see if I'm doing well or badly. The hair kind of moves about all over the place when you're cutting it, so the top barbers usually use a brush to keep the hair in check while they do the fade. You can see it's starting to gradually look more and more like a fade. The whole time I'm fading, I'm kind of adjusting this setting accordingly. If I see some hairs that I think, oh, they're, they're really a bit too long, let me just attack them. I might put it on a shorter setting. Or if I want to be really careful, I put it on a longer setting. It only takes one mistake, one lapse in concentration, and a really good looking haircut can turn into a really bad one real quick. Too many people fear it. Don't fear it. What's the worst that can happen? You have a bad trim. How many times have you been to the barbers and had a dodgy trim anyway? So in that regard, the worst that can happen is nothing that you haven't come through before. But what you stand to gain is freedom from ever needing a barber in your life, which is powerful. So I'm going to put the camera down and just keep on with this process and I'll pick up you guys in a bit. Okay, so the trim is complete. If we look at the time, 51 minutes past one. I need to shower, I've got hairs all over me. Saved me a trip to the barbers, saved me money, and that freedom. Hope you enjoyed that. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that tutorial. You've got it now. You've seen the tools that I use, the mess that I make, and the process from start to finish. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have a shower now, get myself cleaned up, and crack on with the day. See you later. <laughs>